Looks like P6 is way off. I'm going to lock the curve. That's what the Lear is. Now, when that curve is locked, you can go through. It's gone through and listened to your own piano and determined what the uh, stretch is. So the blue dots is what it heard, and it calculated the curve based on the what it heard versus the harmonics. And so this is a very tall upright like 55 inches so it doesn't have that much droop down here or rise and I've tuned the center plus down to here and I just started to frog around and do some up here earlier today okay we've been looking at the atom shaft here and I've got the bellows removed down under here we've been vacuuming out a lot of stuff focus a little bit better still got a lot of uh, crap every time I keep on playing this thing I get more and more stuff removed I've got a brush here that's from uh, Home Depot used to get behind refrigerators I've gotten up behind up here and got a lot of crap out I've taken these strings and gone through and taken a wire brush and I don't know if I recommend doing that but I got all the, a lot of the crap off there that's on here, so they sound less tubby. And the more and more I play this, the more and more crap comes out. So I've got a lot of marsh grass and stuff I've got out of there. There's soundboard, and I did go ahead and remove the box here that's used for. Uh, vacuum unit that was added in the 80s and there was a piece here of the soundboard that kind of looks like it had a crack in it I just pulled that out of there so that'll have to be bonded in that's the wire that was added in by the guy who added the vacuum unit and this unit went up flooded right to the keyboard so I've got a lot of crap out of here and what I'm going to show is I'm going to show the tuning that I've screwed around with and how Lee's got, got it consistent to himself. There's a uh, three-needle pine. It's about six inches long, so it's probably loblolly. So that's the gate box there. The hook to go ahead and hook the vacuum cleaner up, turn this on, I can go ahead and run the plug it up to here I can run the air motor if I connect it over here to run the keys this gate box is such that it doesn't have any air to it or it's jammed up so I can't get the keys to fire up so we're going to go show the uh, tuning right now okay, before I show the tuning I'm going to show hooking the vacuum cleaner up to the source here and there's the air motor running So this is the governor on here. Pull this down, will go faster. That's controlled by this rod. And that goes to the tempo control, which goes on to here. This is all goofed up because it went underwater, but at least the uh, action is sort of working on it. Okay, we're going to use piano meter here. And I'm going to go through and take the keys and go through and go through them on the app and go through and see how it goes through and uh, sets the tuning. So turn on the phone here, see what we've got, we've got piano meter. new tuning file. I'm going to set this to be 406 hertz. It's way, way down there because this piano is a hundred and uh, 101 years old 
and it hasn't been tuned since uh, Earth was cooling, so. And I'm using equal temperament, continue. Now there's the curve there. Once I go through and set it up, put it in focus. I'm going to go through and play the notes starting at the very bottom. I may have to move the camera closer. There's one way up in the middle. going ahead and calculating the curve. That's A0. I'm going to move the whole thing way down over here. Put the thing way down over here, which is not really cool. I didn't tune this very top end yet. I'll redo some of these outliers. Looks like P6 is way off. I'm gonna lock the curve. That's what the little ear is. Now, when that curve is locked, you can go through. It's gone through and listen to your own piano and determine what the uh, stretch is. So the blue dots is what it heard, and it calculated the curve based on the what it heard versus the harmonics. And so this is a 
very tall upright like 55 inches so it doesn't have that much droop down here or rise and I tuned the center plus down to here and I just started to frog around and do some up here earlier today I just wanted to see if it was kind of tunable So these out, these down here are off a bunch because I haven't really screwed around with those yet. Now, since this is locked, it's not going to go through and move the curve. So the way this app works is that once you've gone through and you've done a preliminary, you can just do a few keys. You can use a lot of keys. Uh, it determines the rails back curve. And then you can lock it with the lock button. And uh, there's a freebie version. I think this is the $29 or $30 version in Android. Then there's like a several hundred bucks version that's a pro version. I think you get to save the curves. I just do a screenshot to save it. But uh, I was also using the old uh, sighted tuner here. And since this is this is the one from the 70s, and since this is basically uh, a note and a half off, you have to go through, if this is an A, you've got to set this to an A, that's an A5. you got to set it one lower. It's about 130, 135 cents low. If I go over here and look at this yellow key here, that's a C. So I would have to set this to be a B. This is the original tuner supply cider tuner. And this particular one, I'm just going through and manually going through. It's a cent, one and a half notes off. It's a hundred, roughly. So you got where I'm setting is a C. I'm setting this as a B, and then going through and sending it 135 lower. It'd be 150, but it's about 130 in this particular one. And then this is the uh, Android app here. If you go through and look at the uh, you can see it's set to 406 if you go through and look at uh, general settings English let's go back Here's another one called Tuner Time. That was using the other day. Okay, with Tuner Time here, I've sent it to be 406. Let's see if we can look at it like this. This should be A5. Paused. And if I go up here and look at the C, that's that yellow key I would have to go up to. Piano is not really tuned to where the octaves are the same amount. So if you went between a 
it's not two to one. So, get a whole bunch of different schemes. And there I'm just using the foam. There's the old side of tuner. So on the piano here like this, if you go through and get the center pretty much consistent, the stretch is to where it falls down uh, on the lower notes. And it tends to go up on the higher notes. And in this particular model, they actually had a chart that came with it. And the first app I used, I went through and played the notes, and it determines the curve, the rails back curve. Then I locked it in. And this piano went up to about here in salt water. So it's kind of uh, one that's got some issues.